Hi guys, this is Ravi from Astro and today I will show you how to run two instances of game on Astro workplaces using Hyper-V and a few other scripts and program. Uh, let's get started. First of all, we will need to download uh, CC Boot program which we will be which we will use to host the game disk as a iSCSI target and which we, the virtual machine will connect to get the games or should I say game disk and it will run the game from that uh, virtual disk. So I've already downloaded it. You can download uh, the program from the link in the description below. And uh, after installation, what you have to do is go to sorry, go to Disk Manager and choose the partition or disk which you which has your games. I've already set it as a game from here. And uh, you, you don't need to set anything. Just click OK, and it will be available as a uh, iSCSI target which the uh, VM can connect. Now, next portion will be how to create the virtual machine uh, to uh, for the second WordPress to use and run the games in. Uh, for that, we will be using uh, sorry, PowerShell. We will be using a PowerShell script from GitHub. I've already opened the page here. I'll share the link in the description below. Uh, so, uh, after you open the page, uh, click on code and then click the download zip after it uh, it will download now after it has downloaded uh, extract it on your computer I already downloaded and extracted it now after extracting the files we need to run first pre-checks uh, this is to check whether your graphics card is able to partition your graphics uh, memory or to your workplaces uh, sorry, to the Hyper-V machine so first of all, uh, after downloading, uh, open PowerShell, PowerShell, and run it as administrator. After you run it, drag and drop the pre-check uh, file, PowerShell file, onto the PowerShell, and click enter. You may need to enable uh, execution of PowerShell script by setting it uh, execution policy as unrestricted. I've already done so. And after you run it, uh, it will ask you whether you want to run it or not type R in order to run it once and after you have run uh, it will show the compatibility if the system is capable of sorry, if the graphic card is capable of uh, sharing its video memory or not uh, and it has listed my graphic card as NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 press enter to exit after checking it we need to edit a file called copy files to VM in order to create the virtual machine mm, open it with Notepad, or you can run PowerShell uh, ESE, sorry, PowerShell ISE in order to edit the PowerShell and run it. Uh, here you have to edit few places. First of all, you need to give it uh, a path to your ISO files that has your ISO files. Um, I, in my case, uh, it's in F drive. Uh, let me show you F drive. So. In my F drive, in ISO folder, in ISO files folder, I have uh, ISO files, and in uh, in in this video, I'll be using the Insider Preview Windows 11 Insider Preview ISO. Right click and copy as path, and then replace the source path. I already uh, ran this script before, so I it's already here. And addition means which uh, index of the uh, ISO that you want to run in by default you can set it as 6 uh, which means Windows Pro but uh, you can uh, check the indexes manually and choose which uh, version you want to run also uh, other fields you can leave as is uh, in case of uh, Windows C drive partition which uh, the VM will use uh, it's set as 40 GB for now and the memory amount is set to 8 GB means 8 GB of RAM will be used by the virtual machine uh, in CPU cores it's set as 4 depending on your system you can set it to 6 or 8 as well per VM and uh, VSD path will be where you want to store the um, virtual hard disk or the VSDX file that uh, the VM will use also network switch uh, by default it will be default switch in my case I edited uh, or created a new uh, virtual switch so the name is uh, changed here I'll show you the name uh, that you can do uh, v ethernet uh, default switch or v ethernet uh, new virtual switch in this means uh, the name of the 
switch is new version switch uh, you can copy from here or you can also check it from Hyper-V Manager and paste it here. Afterwards, uh, you need to change the username and password. Uh, in my case, I'll leave it as a GPUVM and password will be RobbyHas123. Just uh, You can put whatever you want and auto login will be true. After, uh, uh, one more thing, uh, I almost forgot. Uh, GPU name will be auto for Windows 10 and if you are using Windows 11, you can uh, choose what GPU uh, sorry, what GPU to share to the VM. If you have multiple GPUs or graphics card, you can assign a single graphics card to that workplace as well. Um, in current, in my case currently, I have only one graphics card, so I'll set it to auto. And GPU ratio allocation percentage means how much virtual memory of uh, graphics card you want to share to the VM. Uh, currently, I have set it to 50%, so it will use 6 GB of uh, graphics card memory. Uh, as the vir virtual machine's uh, graphics memory. Afterwards, uh, save it. Then you need to uh, you need to drag and drop the power script file and run it. I've already run it and uh, generated the virtual machine. The process will take five to ten minutes. Afterwards, uh, it will open the virtual machine and will show you a desktop uh, in a remote session. After, afterwards, uh, okay. so uh, you need to use Parsec program in order to connect to the Hyper-V machine that was generated by the EasyGPUV script. So I've already installed uh, Parsec on this workplace and already logged into my Parsec account which is also logged into the Hyper-V already. So the GPUV, sorry, GPUPV is the name of the Hyper-V that we are going to connect. Um, once you click on connect, it will take few seconds in order to connect to the remote session. And you'll be treated with a uh, desktop. Give it a few seconds. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, connected over Parsec, and uh, you will see a floating icon here. Uh, this is the Parsec uh, icon, and you can change your settings from here. Um, I'll leave it as is, as it's optimal for my case. And uh, earlier, as I mentioned, that we'll be using C++ program in order to connect. So in, a, in order to share the game disk to the virtual machine, I've already sorry, I've already set the Cboot program on the host machine, and to connect to it, you need to use iSCSI initiator. Uh, earlier I uh, tried this, so it's already connected. Let me show you how to reconnect to this. So uh, once you open iSCSI initiator for the first time, you will be asked to whether you want to set the service as auto or not. And you need to click on yes. After you click that, from the target step, click on target and then enter the IP address of the host machine. And that is in my case 113. And click on quick connect. As you can see, the uh, quick connect prompt sort connected and the partition order dix is shown here. Now this will complete act as a uh, local disk for the Hyper-V and you can run game programs from it. Um, let's run Steam from here. Okay, okay uh, Steam has launched. Uh, let me log into this game account. Um, I've already logged into Steam on this workplace. So I'm going to run our game. Uh, let's try with Dota 2 for now. Uh, similarly, on this workplace with the Hyper-V already running, I'll run the same game and you can see the differences in FPS and the gameplay. Note so that when you run the game for the first time, it will need, need to install some prerequisite. As you can see there, it's installing DirectX currently. Uh, play anyway. If it, uh, this is just a notification saying that the cloud, cloud saves for Steam was not updated. It's already running there. Uh, it's also running there. It's in the background for some reason. Okay, so it's coming into the foreground. As you can see, the game is already running, and if you see at the top of the screen, uh, the FPS is around 120. Uh, this is uh, the limit that I set for this workplace. No. So uh, similarly, in this workplace also, I've set the FPS limitation to 120. In order to not to fully tax, sorry, okay, let me change it here and 120. 
20 okay and you can lower the resolution of the uh, graphics quality so that uh, uh, it can get better FPS uh, okay so now let's connect to a game and play uh, let me invite my other account here to a game Okay, so the game, so these two are in the same lobby right now, and I can start a game uh, with these two. And we can go, okay, let's, no, uh, let's do so easily. Okay, let's start a bot match. You can play any game, uh, provided that, uh, sorry, you can play rank match as well, but I'm not going to connect to the rank match because I'm not going to be able to uh, play the both game at the same time so let's just uh, stick with the bot match for now uh, you may notice uh, the FPS fluctuation is quite severe uh, in hyper view machine because it's sharing resources from the host machine so uh, it will be slightly slower or 10 to 20 percent slower than the native machine okay let's ready the character The game will start now. As you can see, both of the games are on the so both of the workplaces are on the same game and running. Uh, do note that uh, you will need at least 32 GB of RAM in order for the Hyper V machine to have enough RAM, as well as the host machine. Currently, I have only given 8 GB of RAM to the Hyper V machine. And remaining RAM is being utilized by the host machine or the main machine. And if you see at the FPS at the top of the screen here, the FPS is around 100 to 120. Same with the first WordPress, uh, it's uh, stable around 190. If I move around, and it should still be stable 100 plus. Uh, okay. Let me show the network resources uh, and you will see. Uh, okay, so if you can see here, the FPS is uh, around 100 to 120, and uh, here it's uh, stable 190, 120. And the ping is actually a bit lower on second workplace and a bit higher on the first workplace but this is uh, just a margin of error and basically the both of the ping will be similar or same uh, if you are playing uh, rank match or other um, online matches then the ping will be slightly lower in Hyper-V machines as it is going through Hyper-V and through the main uh, main internet uh, connection so it will take 5 to 10 uh, millisecond extra for the FPS sorry for the ping there will be slightly more pain. So uh, this is uh, Dota 2. Uh, it's around 100 plus on second workplace and stable 119 or 110 to 119 on the second first workplace, which is running in natively. Uh, let's try another game. Let me exit from here.